Hey there, so recently Apple released a new iPhone 7 Plus that has two cameras in it, which actually allow it to produce SLR-like images where you have really nice sharp focus in the front and then the back has this beautiful blur that makes everything pop. Now while in the demo they advertised it as being for portraits of people, it turns out it actually works on other objects. It's not a perfect system and sometimes you get some weird errors where some things that are blurry you don't really want to be blurry. And so it turns out there's actually a great tool that will fix those things for you and it's called Pixelmator. So let's head to the App Store, let's get it downloaded and let's check it out. It's actually really awesome and has tons of different features. We're going to use a very small portion of those features for this video. But go ahead and head to the App Store, pick the app up. It's uh, not too expensive and really powerful. All right, so now that we have it installed, let's go ahead and get it opened. Now I'm gonna tap in the top left, the plus, so that I can open up the photo that I'm looking for. And as it pops up, you're gonna notice that it is the non-depth effect version. It actually saves both versions of the photo when you're taking it, which is really convenient for this purpose. Now in the top right hand corner, we're gonna click the plus again and we're gonna add the depth effect photo on top of it. Now you'll notice as we zoom in here that you have two different photos, one blurry, one not, but that the one that's blurry has kind of like a, a problem with the lip here of the glass. And that's what we're gonna to try to focus on and, and fix in this video. Now to get started here, we're gonna tap the paintbrush icon that's in the top right, and then the select option. Now you see uh, elliptical selection is what we have right now, and that's gonna create a circle. So we can actually carve out the, uh, the image here that we're looking for. Now I'm gonna tilt it a little bit and try to get it just right. It's not gonna to need to be absolutely perfect, but I'm gonna to try to get it as, as close as I can. So right now we're just gonna select the top of this lip, so that whenever we're looking to get rid of it, we have a pretty nice, crisp, clean line. Now I'm gonna swipe from the left to open up the other image. I'm gonna tap and drag the other image on top and then tap on the selection area and hit delete. And obviously you can see that it has already started to pop a little bit more. We've removed the blurry version and because what sat behind it was the original version. So we're just slowly gonna carve this out. Now I'm gonna tap the, the icon in the top right again for the paintbrush, uh, and we're gonna select a new tool this time, which is paint and erase in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, with paint and erase, you're gonna get the soft eraser, and from the soft eraser, we're gonna slowly kind of carve out what happens to be left in the image. Now, I sped this video up because you don't wanna watch me. It's really boring. But we're gonna carve out the rest of this image, slowly but surely, and come up with what looks to be a pretty darn good new version of the image, which has a really crisp, clean uh, foreground of the coffee, with the background still very blurry. I'm gonna go in for a few more you know, tight, minor details here. Now that we've got an image that we like, we're gonna go ahead and tap the top right corner, the share button, and then from the share button, we're gonna click save to photos. Now what that's going to do is bring up a thing that says allow Pixelmator to modify this photo, that means that it's actually gonna overwrite the original image, which is pretty nice because that way when you go to the image, you're gonna see it as the one that we have just cleaned up. And you can always revert back to the original should you ever want to. But as you can see, we've got a really nice image now. No more crazy accidental blur that was caused by iOS. And there you have it.